<laughs> okay, so we just walked down the alley that I showed, and we're pretty sure that they were shooting a movie or something. Nobody stopped us, so we literally just kept walking. <laughs> and then everybody was like, it started pouring rain, you can see it's raining so bad. And they didn't stop us, they didn't tell us to go. And so I took a little video and we just see this girl walking down the street and they're all recording it and like getting attention. And I was like trying to record it inconspicuously and the girl in front of me was too. And then her, someone saw her and made her put the camera. They were like, no. And I was like, oh, okay, just slide that down. Nobody saw. But now, we walked up so many sets of stairs and my legs are literally shaking. <laughs> so, that means two things. Number one, I need to work out more. Number two, I need to work out more. <laughs> okay, so we just asked one of the like workers super close to the set, like where they were filming, and the guy said it was for Gossip Girl. I'm like, that is so freaking crazy. I literally can't believe it. I should have been in the background like... And then nobody... <laughs> no, you could have been on TV, damn it. Good morning. Today we have a tour for the Vatican Museum and also the Sistine Chapel and I think this, there's one more place that we go to but I can't remember the third one off the top of my head. It's currently 8.30 a.m. and we woke up about 45 minutes ago. We just finished getting ready. Our tour is at 10 a.m. and we are gonna try to walk there. So it's about a 40 minute walk and we're a little bit worried because it is cloudy and it was raining about an hour ago. So we're not really sure if we can walk there or if it's gonna start raining on us. So we will figure that out in a minute, but we're gonna finish getting ready, figure out what we're doing, and I'll check in with you at the museum. We are walking somewhere random. <laughs> I keep tripping up the stairs. And we just went and saw this really cool fountain. And then. What are these stairs? Fountain Trevi. Fountain Trevi. Maybe. Maybe. And there's so many dang people there. But we found some really yummy gelato and right now it's only like 5 p.m. And we're looking for something to do. So we found a random museum on the Google Maps. Random museum on the Google Maps that we can't use because we don't have Wi-Fi. <laughs> So we're kind of just walking around till we find something to do.
Good morning. It is Sunday and today is our last full day in Rome. Today we have planned the Colosseum, the uh, Forum, and the Palatine Hill. So we have tickets for that. We have a couple hours to kill before we do that. So we're just gonna kind of walk around and see what we get up to. So we just came back to the hotel for a couple of minutes before our tour. We ate at this cute little restaurant. It was called That's Amore and it was just, we just got pizza, a margarita pizza because I'm like a kid still and it was really good. But now we have to walk to the Coliseum and it's about 25 minutes away so we're getting ready to do that. But it is quite toasty outside. It's 90 degrees. So I changed. I was wearing jeans earlier with a black tank top, but it was so hot and this whole tour is gonna be outside, I'm pretty sure. So definitely don't wanna be sweating. So this is what I changed into. So I just have on these Zara shorts, my green tank top, and then my Air Forces, my little crust body. And we're off. Let's go. Let's go to the Coliseum. Good morning. <laughs> Was that good or bad? <laughs> so, today is the last day. Sad. But our flight got delayed an hour, so now we're not flying out until like 3 30. 3, right? Until like 4 30 ish. So, we have a lot of time to kill. It is. It's like 11 a.m. right now, and we have um, reservations at the Pantheon, so we're going to go do that now, and then who knows what else we'll do until the very end. So we just got back home and you might be wondering, where is the Pantheon footage? Funny story, 
We showed up there with two hours to spare before we had to get to the airport. And there was 30,000 people outside waiting. So we decided, heck to the no, we were not gonna wait in that line. We were just gonna walk around and do some other stuff. So we decided to try this cute little food restaurant and I got avocado toast, Dakota got pancakes and we tried like a little cappuccino. Like it was so interesting cause it was like whipped cream coffee, which was new to us, but it was pretty tasty. And then we kind of just walked around, but since it was a holiday today, a lot of places were closed and a lot of places I wanted to go to were closed. So there was this store called Black Box and they had some really cool looking shoes in there, but they were sadly closed today. So anyways, we are finally home. We just ordered some sushi, so we're going to try that. And then we started a show called Lock and Key that we've been obsessed with and the third season just came out. So we're gonna watch that and then go to bed. So thank you so much. Oh, I did want to show. So I got a couple things while we were there. I got these chocolates to try. So I looked up like the best candy or the best chocolate in or like special to Italy and this brand was on there. So I'm really excited to try these. And also from Zara, Italy, I got some pants. <laughs> They're so, that's such a bad way to see it, but I don't know. They're kind of hard to show. They're just like normal pants. But I'm really excited to try the, I didn't try them on there because nobody has time to wait in the dressing room line when every single tourist is there trying on stuff. So I decided I didn't want to try them on. So hopefully they actually fit me. And I ripped off all my nails while we were there too. So like at least a clear coat on because they're starting to bother me. So. We're gonna do that, do some laundry, and now I'm rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe so that we can continue to experience life, learn, and grow together. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.